The way to organize your Lightroom presets and the way to import Lightroom presets has changed over time. So in this video I will show you how to do it in 2020 in Lightroom Classic CC. The first thing you need to understand is that the file extension of the Lightroom presets has changed over time. Nowadays we use XMP presets before we used LR template preset. So if you are a Lightroom 6 or an older version user, you still need a LR template presets. But in the current version, you need XMP. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do download this free pack. You can also download this from uh, our website. If you go to giveaways, go to free Lightroom presets. Uh, I'm going to download the XMP and what I'm going to do now, I open this pack because what happens when you download multiple presets, you don't download them one by one, but all in one pack. And you need like a tool like WinRAR to extract all the files. So I'm going to select all the presets here by selecting the first one. I hold the shift key and I press the last preset to select them all. I go to extract tool. I place them in download now, but you can also pick another folder that doesn't really matter. And after that is done, when I go to my downloads folder, I can see here the, the package and here I can see all the individual presets. So let's go to Lightroom now to import those presets. In Lightroom, you have to go to develop and on the left side, you go to presets. Uh, here you can already find a lot of other presets, as you can see, uh, depending on how much you import it, but those uh, on top are the standard ones, those on the bottom are the downloaded and purchased ones. So one way of importing Lightroom presets is clicking the little plus here. You choose for import presets and you go to the folder where you extract all the individual presets to. So I, I'm in downloads now, so here I can see all the presets again. As you can see, uh, the supported files are LR template. So if you have an older preset, an LR template preset, you can still do the import. So Lightroom is going to change it to an XMP file while you do the import. So you can still use your old Presets, the only thing is sometimes things change, uh, like some sliders disappear or new sliders appear. So sometimes they are not really 100% compatible anymore. So in this case, I want to import all the presets. So I select them all, holding the shift key again, select the last one and I press import. So importing the presets take a few seconds. And after that, they should be visible here in the presets panel and here they are Rosa photo day and night here those presets are just imported you will notice that not all the time is depending on the, the pack uh, the pack you download it doesn't come in a folder all the time so what happens a lot is that they appear here in user presets and if you want to reorganize everything you have to do an extra step so if this doesn't work for you, uh, keep on watching. I will show you how to make extra folders and how you can uh, drag and drop basically the presets to the new folder. The way to do that is a little bit complicated. Now, not really complicated, but it's not a really straightforward process, I think. They could have made that easier. And in all the versions, it was easier, actually. So what I'm going to do is I click the plus icon and instead of import presets i click create presets so i'm going to pretend like i want to create a preset of all the edits i have here on the right side so i click create preset and what i can do here i can name the preset so test and delete so because i want to delete this preset afterwards but what i can do here i can select a group so uh, you can have the user presets, you can create this new preset and put them in an existing folder or you can create a new group and that's what I want to do. So new preset group, 
I click create. I click create here to create the preset and also the new preset group. And what you will see is that the preset we just created will appear in a new group. So let's see, here it is, new preset group. And there it is. So what I can do now, uh, basically all presets you already have in Lightroom, you can just select one, hold the, the left mouse button and drag it to the new group and it will appear over there. So that is one way to organize basically your Lightroom presets. For example, this one, the test preset, I can easily delete it, pressing the right button of the mouse and I select delete. If you wonder where all the files, all the presets are stored in your hard disk, it's, uh, there is a very easy way to go to the right folder. If you click edit in the menu, you go to preferences. In the dialog that opens, you can go to presets and here you have a button show Lightroom develop presets. As soon as you click that button, you will go to this location. Actually, you can see right here where it is. You go to settings and here you can see all the folders of presets. Also the new one we just created, new preset group. Maybe you think maybe it's easier to, after you've downloaded presets, to put them here right away by creating a new folder like here, new folder, uh, test, new test folder, and put all the XMP files in this new folder. And I was also thinking the same, but it doesn't work. So if you put XMP files here, um, they won't appear in Lightroom on the left side. Also, not after you've restarted uh, Lightroom. So. That is not uh, the way it works. So you really need to use the plus icon here and import presets. Well, hopefully you've learned something new. I hope I've solved your issue. If not, let me know. Uh, please leave a comment below this video and I'm really happy to help you out with all your problems. So thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.